Well, that was one heck of a Super Bowl. So a huge, huge defeat for the Denver Broncos, but a big win for the Seahawks, and not just for the Seahawks and their fans, but their owner, Paul Allen, who we once dubbed the accidental billionaire for all the money he made uh, as one of Bill Gates' first partners at Microsoft. And then he seemed to do almost everything he touched seemed to turn to To, to, to lead, yes. Right, so he had Charter Communications mm -hmm. and RCN, this big cable company that ultimately went bankrupt, which is now in the news now because John Malone is, mm -hmm. is, is, is taken out of bankruptcy yeah. and, and turned it into this uh, consolidator. But so, so Paul Allen, though, he did pretty darn well on this one. He did really well. He invested $194 million um, in, I think it was 97. Yep. And it, the, um, Forbes estimated that the Seahawks were worth over a billion dollars. That was before they won and, and you know, yeah, dominated once, once the Super Bowl. Yeah, once you win a Super Bowl so in, you're worth in a, such fashion. You're worth a lot more for merchandising, for, you know, for um, broadcast rights, all right. those things. So he's done extremely well. And, and it was... It seemed to be this was another investment where he just kind of backed into it. He, 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 he thought it was a bit like Captain Kirk's armchair, <laughs> his 414-foot yacht with the yellow submarine, the Jimi Hendrix sh shrine and temple in downtown yeah. Are they uh, investments Seattle. or are they lifestyle? They're probably more lifestyle. Look, if you're yeah. a good bajillionaire mm -hmm. and you've got all that, and you like guitars and boats and, mm -hmm. and, and Star football. Trek, of course. Why not? And football. And, but he also, of course, had the trailblazers, the, the yeah. NBA team. And that's done extremely well as well. Right. That's, that's done not quite as well. It's, I think it's about, worth about five. Fold. Right, That's nothing cool. tenfold quite like this. I mean, he's yeah. had some investments that have done. A, he's done. Okay. He's done a few that have done well, but even the ones that were really good were kind of like he could have done better. Like for instance, right. he was invested in AOL and he he backed out with with small profit. But if he'd held on to the boom, he could have had a couple more billion from that. Forty billion dollars so, of yeah. AOL <laughs> Time Warner stock. Exactly. No, some of his investments have done well, especially in right. the past few years. It seems like he's got some more professional investors in, um, right. money managers in there, and kind of scaling the energy back a business. Bit. I think they've done. Some, They've done okay. some well there, yeah. And they, he've yeah. also invested in some startups that potentially could do well. But this is this is one of the ones that's going to rank up there is, is probably one of his best this investments. Is, yeah, and, and it's probably the one that brings him the most, uh, you know, if, psychic. If, if not joy. Feel, yeah, joy. <laughs> yeah. Plus it gets everyone in Seattle is going to love the guy yeah, even uh -huh. more than they may already love. Yeah, then if the 1% are, you know, pitchforks come after them, he won't be targeted, I imagine. No, he's got the, the winning football team. All right, thanks, Rob. We'll be back with this and more Breaking Views later.